Hello everybody, Grace to Blaze, and we're checking out a game called Everspace. If you don't know, Everspace is a roguelike space exploration crafting fighting style of game. Very cool. I'm going to have links in the description below. I got to thank the guys over at Everspace for sponsoring the video and allowing me access not only to the game, but to the brand new expansion pack that is out. This came out, I think, about a month ago. This is called Encounters, and it adds a bunch of new stuff. I want to show you some of it, and we got to try the new mode which is the hardcore mode. But first off, just kind of understand a little bit about the game. How it is, is, I'm not gonna lie, uh, if you are new to the, you know, 360 degree space style of combat, it's not easy. If you pick up on, you know, your classic f dog fighting styles of game very quickly, then you're gonna have no problem. But it throws you in, and it will beat you down quick. And there's a purpose for that, because as you play, although you may die in the first 10 minutes, you get these things called credits by continuing to get somewhere in the game. And with the credits, you can go ahead and buy yourself perks that continue to exist progressively through the game. As you progress through the game, you get a little bit further and a little bit further, and each time you unlock these, you get to use that in your next playthrough. So very cool. Obviously, I'm big on money. So I had unlocked hard the loot bonuses over here. I'm almost at 50% now. In fact, the next money I spend, I'm going to spend on this. Everything else, like the little items that I have over here, is just whenever I had money left over. Because you can see now it costs 8,000 credits just to get that last bonus. Very cool progression system though. Very roguelike. Very common style of theme, but I like that. Now one of the things that the encounters brought was this brand new ship over here. There's a few different ships. There's the gunship, which is your classic, big, beefy, you know, big armor style of ship. Lots of guns. You've got your scout, which is your fast style of, uh, you know, your fast cloaking kind of style of play. The interceptor, kind of good all around. But this one over here, brand new, and I love this thing. This is the Colonial Sentinel. So this is like a, if I had to, like, if I had to equivalent this, to a, you know, maybe like a dungeon delving thing, because that's kind of what we're doing. Like, the dungeon is space, and we're going into it, we're finding items, we're getting loot, we're crafting better items, we're fighting enemies. This is like your glass cannon. This is like your wizard. Uh, and it's, it's awesome. I love this style of gameplay. It has this thing called the lightning gun, which essentially shoots arcs of lightning out at its opponents, so like AOE style, and it's fireball stuff, and it's got crowd control for all of you MMOers. It has a thing called the EMP, and it will disable everything in a large radius. The only problem is it disables everything, allied guys and bad guys. So if you're near your allies and you do this, you're going to end up pissing everyone off. Over here by the setup. I only have one right now. You have to get to uh, the fourth sector to unlock it. I haven't really done that much. I've just kind of like been playing around, messing around with the perks and stuff like that. Over here in the colors area, you can change kind of like the style of your ship. So you can see over here, I just kind of went with this style set. You it's kind of neat. Like as you find different loot boxes in the game, you can unlock all these different colors and all these different styles and stuff like that. I just kind of like this one. It's got that neat Dark with the orange overtone. You got your skulls on the sides there because everyone knows gray is gonna die pretty quick ah! Stats all the stuff that you unlock for your codexes and your characters and everything very neat But I know we're gonna want to get into the game over here So first things first we're gonna have to do a hardcore run. I've done one hardcore run So I know what I should be doing but to be fair, we don't have a million years to play this game You guys want to see the game and watch me die potentially so let's get in there and do it now, here's the difference with the hardcore run. You get no upgrades. We don't get to upgrade anything out the bat. None of my perks carry over that I've bought through the previous playthroughs. But, as we get credits in the game, at, if we make it to the end of the sector, we can spend it and we can unlock new stuff. That's it. Uh, on top of that, this is the hardest mode, so everything's a little bit harder. And after we complete each sector, we have to give ourselves a handicap. You can see there's some sort of friggin' fight going on right ahead of us already. All hell's breaking loose. We've got some guys over there 3.5 kilometers out. We've got 4.4 kilometers out. Let's start getting rid of some people over here. Now, one of the things also about the hardcore mode is that in five minutes, we have to get in here and clear ourselves out, or it's going to be a bad day. Um, and the reason why is because we are going to have giant flagships 
coming in and they will absolutely carve us like a friggin' turkey. Over here we have a beam laser. Uh, I really like our lightning gun though, man. I mean, the beam laser is a little bit better. It has an enhancement on it. All these pluses after the weapons means that something has been installed here to make it a little bit better. But we want to see the new weapons. We want to see the new ship. So we're going to stick with the lightning gun. And here's the little, little flavor text that goes with it. it emits a continuous bolt of lightning that arcs over to additional targets and deals 50% of the damage to them. I love that so much. But what we can do is salvage this for some scrap and some ore. So let's go ahead and do that. Got another scout over here. Now, one of the things that you're going to notice is these guys are super accurate. Um, so you kind of have to get used to something called circle strafing, which is where you go backwards and then you like go up, down, up, down, left, right, and stuff like that. And they find it very difficult to target you if you do that. All right. So now that we've cleared those guys out, we need to start looking for like some loot and stuff. We don't need any fuel yet because we just got into here. Different, oh, so right over here. Here's something over here. You find different materials in different styles within the game. So, like, your giant meteor or asteroid fields usually has ore. The big asteroids, you, oh, right over here. Look at this. We got cannons. We got turrets right over here. Let's freaking take them down. Now, luckily, our lightning gun is fantastic for freaking shooting down all kinds of, um, whoa, <laughs> all kinds of missiles and stuff, I was going to say. You can use the terrain. So we are going to do that. Shoot down that missile. There we go. Use the terrain to our advantage. Remember, 360 degrees, man. It seems to be rather random what you acquire from these containers. Thank you, buddy. We have a little friend over there who kind of talks to us every once in a while. I think we picked up everything. Oh, right over here, right over here. Destabilizer missiles. We got some corrosion missiles over here. Disrupts the target's atomic structure and makes it more susceptible to kinetic and energy energetic stress effectively increasing incoming damage um that's fine we can use that that's actually kind of neat i've never messed with those before you know what wow look at the range on this three thousand meters um yeah sure let's swap those over here our corrosion missiles are very good don't get me wrong they are not bad at all but i, I want to try something new i've used the corrosive missiles before so we're going to try these for a little bit now in blue on the screen you're going to see Different points of interest. Man, there are just bad guys all over us. Oh, we want to get the drone first. The drones are big hitters, but they're very, very weak. So you want to make sure to nail these guys. Let's go ahead and fire a rocket. Here we go. That worked out pretty well. Now, the other thing that we have on our on our side, we don't have very many hit points at all. Remember, we're like, we're like the wizard, man. But the one thing that we do have, which is really nice, is a big shield. A big shield. I think it's called like the the titanium, the like the ST super titanium shield or something like that. It's awesome. Oh, we got some nanobots over here too. Nanobots, good for repairs. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, some crystal. Totally missed that crystal over there. Let's make sure to get that as well. All this stuff is for being able to craft new items and enhance the items that we have. We may be able to enhance something. We can craft, so if you can see it, it'll show you. We can craft some light missiles, but we're not gonna do that right now. Some of the things that you wanna do, here's our SD, the Superior Titanium Edition. Comes with a huge capacity, but yeah, it takes forever to regenerate. That's the only problem. Uh, but what you can do is you can upgrade all kinds of stuff from here. So getting that recharge rate down would be fantastic. We're gonna need more crystal and more processors. We do have enough scrap for that. But you don't always find what you're looking for. The green thing over there is the portal. Well, not really a portal. I'll say, like, the directions to the next area that we want to go to. We want to be mindful of that because when the capital ships start coming in, we want a GTFO out of here ASAP. Let's go ahead and start cleaning all this up. As you believe, you start shooting all the boxes and good stuff starts pouring out of them. Got some credits right over here. Let me go ahead and wander my way through here. I love 360-degree areas. It's like... It's like my favorite. Was there actually nothing inside of that box? What a jip! What a friggin' jip job! We do have some mineable ore over here that we can get to. We also have some bad guys that I see are locking onto us. There they are. Let's go ahead and fire one of our rockets again. Worked out well. Go ahead and strafe. You can see our lightning is going from one to the other. And look at this. This guy's already almost dead. A little bit more lightning and he is down. Excellent. That's just what I wanted. We can go ahead and grab a couple more credits over here. I definitely want those materials, though. All right, we saw the mineable ore. Let's go get it. 
This kind of like ice field is usually where you find fuel. Um, not like the fuel that you use for the vehicle, but I think, or it's actually called gas if I remember correctly. It's very, very interesting. I'm sure eventually we'll find some, but for right now, let's go ahead and grab this ore over here. You want to watch your energy. See that green bar? That's slowly going down. Uh-oh! We got problems. Get as much ore as we can. Much ore as we can. All right, let's get out of here. That little thing that's that's buzzing at us is letting us know that in a second it is about to get real bad in here. So out we go. And we do not want to have to deal with the incursion. All right. So over here, you're going to notice it says our position, low risk, medium risk, high risk. I always pick the most risk. We also have a service station down here. So let's go ahead and take this one. We don't have any high risk routes, so we're going to go ahead and take this. Now from here... We can get to a trader, which is actually really good, uh, or we can take the high risk one, but I'll probably use the trader. Because remember, we want to maximize all the credits we possibly can. Hardcore, no survivors. What do we got out here? A drone and a scout. Multiple hostiles incoming. Yeah, I know that, buddy. Thank you. All right, he's almost down. Our circle strafing is working. There we go. That's one down. We got more drones down here. There, there's our lightning working. Another one down. And there we go. Cleaned them up real good. Like, that's it, right? There's no one else shooting at us? Is that a buddy over there? That's a buddy. All right, we don't have to worry about that. That's what I'm talking about, man. Once you get good at circle strafing, and understand, I am not good. Wow, a thousand credits. That's what you want. I am not good at circle strafing. I just understand how it works. I'm definitely not the king of it or anything. Oh, there's a thing over here. Let's go check this out. We got some cool... Some cool creature going on over here. I think that there's some sort of hostilities going on by that station. Whoa! Missile turret! Missile turret! Well, I didn't shoot that missile down. We'll shoot that one down, though. There we go. Got the compound. I think we took down the other turret as well. Let's go ahead and grab this compound. Go up here. It looks like there's some containers laying around. Oh, there's containers everywhere. We got some fuel over here as well. Looting Tech container. Makes me no better than an outlaw. Light missile. I'll get over it. It's going to be fine. Destabilizer missiles. I want more missiles, so we're going to go ahead and take the light missiles. We did get to use our destabilizer missiles, so that was fun. Over here, we've got some plasma mines. Now, if you want to, you notice we have more than just one item. We have the device charger, and we have the turret override. Uh, and we can use that for plasma mines, but I think I'm going to keep our, our device charger and our override. I haven't been using our pulse either, our EMP. We've been doing pretty good without it, but I'm going to use it in the next battle just for the hell of it. Just so that we can use it. We've got more mineable ore over here. So let's go ahead and hit that real quick. All right, our ore is fully mined. Let's see what the service station can do for us. I don't think they can do anything because we're not really damaged. Like, most of the time, they heal you or they can fix, like, downed items and stuff like that. So over here, we have repairs, which we don't really need. We have a resource shop, which is pretty cool. Uh, what can we trade for? We get scrap. We don't have any dark energy, so it doesn't matter. We receive ore for credits. No, I'd, ra I'd rather keep the credits, to be quite honest. Now, what do we have over here? Over here, we have the refuel station. We can get some fuel for some money. Nope. We're going to be able to find plenty of fuel on our own. Let's not worry about that. Now, you're going to see there's boxes over here. Don't get fooled, man. You shoot those boxes open, you will have all the GMB guys coming for your ass big time. All right? I was just kind of hanging around looking for any additional loot. Didn't see anything else. Let's go ahead and get out of here. The Okar is starting to come in. So we're going to go ahead and uh, hightail it out of here. Maybe we'll face them. For the last, the last time. So do we want to do trader or do we want to do a high risk? Eh, I feel trading is always the way to go because you're going to want those credits, man. We need to get as many upgrades as we can possibly get. So coming in here. Any bad guys? Yep, we got a couple. Got some scouts right over here. Oh, we'll use our EMP. Let's go ahead and do that. We haven't done the EMP. Now, we have a scout. We have a scout. Was it all scouts? All scouts, huh? Oh, there's a lot of scouts out there. A lot of scouts. All right, what we'll do is we'll engage. This could be a sticky situation there we here. go. It's going to be fine, buddy. It's going to be fine. Don't worry about it. All right, we're going to let we're gonna let him come to us. There we go. Start lighting him up a little bit. We want to do a little bit of damage over here. There we go. There we go. There we go. And now, EMP. There we go. Now, unfortunately, you notice I'm getting torn up from the backside while I'm trying to take these guys out, which is why I usually try... And just hit him straight on. Come on, buddy. Go down. Go down for gray. Go down for gray. Go down. We are out of energy. The other thing was I used up my energy really fast. All right, let's go ahead and finish this guy over here. Where are you at? There he is. Take his shields down. Fire a missile. 
Down he goes. Here we go. Got 14 fuel from that as well. All right. So the EMP is kind of like, really, I like to use it when I'm in a situation that I need to get out of. Not so much like when I'm head rushing in like that. Not really the best way to do it. You can see how long it took our shield to finally start regenerating. Oh, crystal is so good. Oh, yeah. Give it all to me while we're over here. Head over to repair. We only have that much repair that we can do right now, but we're going to go ahead and do it. I think some more stuff fell out over here. Oh, an energy injector. What can we pull out of the energy injector? Let's go check it out real fast. Things are getting a little bit harder as we get further and further into the sectors of evil. A uh, small amount of energy. Let's go ahead and just rip that apart. A little bit more scrap. There we go. Over here, we've got our trader. Now, usually, you can find some pretty crazy stuff inside here. So let's go inside and see if there's anything particular just kind of hanging out around here. Yep, you can see there's a tech container nearby. There we go. See, we got a nanobots. All right, we got like one. Yay. Let's go ahead and pulse over here real quick. Maybe go inside this little area. All right, man, it's time to do the, uh, time to do the Luke Skywalker thing over here. There we go. Kind of straight fall through this. Now, what do we have down here? Mineable fuel way down there. All right. Oh, got some hostiles in coming over here. Let's see. Where they, which way are they coming in at? Did you hear that? I thought I just heard an explosion. Definitely sounded like an explosion nearby. They're probably going to be coming. Oh, they're right outside. All right. Let's go meet them. Ready? And here we go. There we go. Drone is down. What else we got? Another drone. And drone is down. Anyone else? Anyone else want a piece? Nope. I think that that's it. Got a little bit of fuel over here. We'll go ahead and grab that as we do. Got one scout attacking this trader. Let's finish him off. There we go. Get a couple of credits from it. Yeah, that showed him while he was totally not even prepared. We shot him in the back. I feel kind of bad about that. One of the things that the EMP does do, which I'm, which is really neat, is if you do it in like an asteroid field, all the bad guys will run into the asteroids and kill themselves. It's freaking awesome. All right. What can we get? We get some money for some scrap. Get some money for our light missiles. Um, let's see over here. We want to sell almost everything that we can realistically to get as much money as possible. All right, I sold some of the scrap. We're going to keep some of the light missiles, I think. Having missiles is pretty important. Um, I would keep I would keep some around at all times because they do good damage and they're just... When you have a... Like, like, let's say you have a weapon that does a lot of shield damage but not a lot of hull damage. Having the right kind of missiles is fantastic. Now they're... Whoa! Hi there, turret. How are you doing? Good, I see. Excellent. Got some lightning for you. Special delivery. Oh, I saw a missile turret. Nope. Oh, oh. Freaking got us. Totally got us. Oh, man. We got everything in here. Look at all this. We got containers up in here. We got new items that we can craft. We got some gel laying around. Again, these are all just crafting materials. These are all just stuff that we're going to need to upgrade our weapons and our shields and everything else. Now, I see there's something else around here. Looks like a container. Yep. Like I said, you have to get pretty close to light these things up. Oh, no. All right. We need to get out of here. And we will. Here we go. Lining it up. Three, two, one. See you suckers later. And we're out. One of these times, if you want, I'll go head to head with the, uh, <laughs> with the frigging group of them. We'll probably, uh, we'll die immediately. Usually it's like Corvettes and all kinds of crazy capital ships that come in. So here we are. Ooh. What you see around you is the remnants of the conflict between the Colonials and the Oka. Okay. First contact led to an escalating series of misunderstandings. Let's just put it at that. I see. Oh, wow. Got a drone over here. Let's take that drone out first. I'll make sure he goes down. Got a scout over here. Let's go ahead and take him down. How about a nice missile for him? And you know what? How about this? We'll even EMP him. There we go. And there's nothing he can do. He just flies in a sad, dejected circle of pain and agony. While we're here, go ahead and do a little repairs. We do have the nanobots for it, so we might as well use them. All right, we got some gel over here. We also have some people locking in on us. Actually, we have all kinds of people. We got a fighter, a fighter, and a drone. All right, drone goes first. Remember, drone goes first. Here we go. Right over there. Now we can take this fighter out. There we go. A little bit of circle strafing. No big deal, no big deal. Maybe a missile. Man, my aim is garbage. Come on. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, we just took a ton of damage. That was totally unnecessary. Go down. Go down. You know what? Here. 
Eat a missile. <laughs> there we go. All right, I went ahead and repaired myself. Now, there's usually some good stuff inside all these wreckages, and usually inside of those giant asteroids. Yeah, mineable crystals. Oh, sweet, delicious mineable crystals. We're gonna want there. We're gonna want that big time. Now, is there anything else just kind of laying around? A lot of ore around here, I'm noticing. Actually, there's all kinds of ore. But if we could find maybe a nice crate or something like that, that would be good. Let's go get the crystal first because we may not have a ton of time to get all this done inside. Of Some people mine with the um, with the actual rocket because if you, you if you use the rocket, it's an insta mine. So since time is kind of of the essence and we want to get out of here like as quickly as humanly possible, some people just use the rockets. Um, but I don't know. I. I I usually tend to hold on to them probably a little bit longer than I should. All right, we've got a tech container way in the middle over here. See if we can go ahead and grab it real quick. We also have a little bit more mineable crystal. Where in the world are you? How far in do I have to go to get you? I bet I have to go like around the bottom like this. Oh, 360 degrees. All right, we got a bunch of opponents coming in. We may actually be able to EMP all of them. Or maybe not. Hold on, let's try it. Here we go. EMP out. This guy's gonna go down quick. I think we shot down our own missile. Oh, more light missiles. There we go. That's what we want. Whoa. What do we got going on down here? Hey there, Mr. Scout. How you doing? I got something for you. Light missile for sale. No big deal. Give it to you half price. Oh, you sucker. You gotta get him before his shield starts regenerating. There we go. Excellent. Egg oh, we got a new ship color. Look at that. That's nice. All right, let's get right behind him and missile out. Did I shoot down my missile again? I think I probably did. Ooh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. We got drones. Or no, we don't. We got regular fighters over here. There we go. EMP. Now, we can recharge our devices like so. We're taking a lot of damage. A lot of damage. All right, let's finish these guys off. Oh, that one's pretty hurt, actually. Almost out of energy. Oh, God. No. No. Oh, there you go. All right. That's good, though. That's actually good because holy crap. This is getting pretty long. <laughs> we almost got to the end. We probably could have just jettisoned in and gotten done. Awesome Nightmare. That was the name of our ship. Gives you a little ship, a little ship name here in the end. Got about 4,000 credits. We probably would have been close to about five or 6,000. You want somewhere between, I would say, 5,000 to 10,000 when you get out of that very first, that very first area in the, uh, in the hardcore mode. So we did okay. We just had to get to the end there, to, the, uh, to that warp gate. You have to sit in the warp gate for a few seconds, and then it shucks you onto the next sector, and then we would get to spend our credits and buy some new stuff. But yeah, man, one of the things I love about this game is that it's infinite. It's as infinite as you want it to be. So you can play this for a long, long time. Just looking to unlock all the different skins, looking to unlock all the different blueprints to get upgrades. Again, if you go over it, and we'll just check this out real quick. If you go over into like just the, the perks and stuff like that and the setup, all the different setups that we can unlock and all these enhancements too. These enhancements you get from fighting ancients which are like bosses in this game. It's really cool. And if you beat them, you get to unlock glyphs that you can utilize later on in the game that give you access to all kinds of different stuff, like access to crazy technology and just like benefits for your character so that as you play, things are a little bit easier. And that's kind of the thing. The idea is as you unlock more and more stuff, you get through the base game, not the hardcore game. The hardcore game is just kind of like to see how far can you get? How, how much can you really do with no saving or anything like that? What can you, at what point is just too much for you? Um, and this is more like a thing where you can play it over and over and over again and be able to enhance your ship, unlock all these different perks, and you're going to see a difference. In the beginning, you may die in the first 10 minutes, but man, I'm going to tell you, once you start unlocking some perks and even just a little bit of energy and especially getting those extra credits so you can unlock all this other stuff that much faster, more weapon slots and things like that, you're going to be able to get much farther in the game. Anyway, guys, like I said, I'm going to have links in the description below if you want to go and check it out. Thanks again to the guys over at, Sp at Everspace for the sponsorship. Feel free to let me know what you thought about Everspace in the comment section below. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.